Hello, Buzz here with you with another cigar review. Uh, the soundtrack today being supplied by the loudest brood of cicadas maybe ever in the history of West Tennessee. These things are absolutely deafening outside, but kind of cool in a droning kind of weird way. And actually, just right before I started the video, I felt something hit me on the shoulder. The dead cicada fell right out of the tree onto me. I mean, these little buggers, these little bugs, these ones are really cool looking with the orange and the red eyes and weird looking. I need to take that bad boy fishing. They make great fishing bait. And of course, the fish are feasting right now. So here we are at the beginning of June, June 1st, and I uh, dropped by Yule Pipe Shop today because I'm completely out of cigars. My humidor is empty, which has never happened to me since I started smoking cigars, I've always had a rotation and just through a variety of circumstances, including smoking way too many cigars, I just flat ran out. So I was delighted to see that they still have my uh, Silvio Palomino cigars in their five packs, uh, five for 10 bucks. And by the Maduro, they are mixed filler cigars. I review, I'll review them in the future, but uh, hit those with a punch cutter and they are just fantastic, fantastic bargain. But today, I was also pleased to see they had some Jackson cigars. Jackson cigars I became familiar with when Brian Jackson, the owner of the company, I assume he's the owner of the company, came by and uh, joined us at the Tennessee Cigar and Brew Fest for the past couple years. Very nice guy, and the company's based in Nashville, Tennessee, which I thought, well, that's cool. The cigar capital of Tennessee can be Nashville now, even though we're working on making it. Jackson, and I'll tell you more about the Tennessee Cigar and Brew Fest later on. But I, I tried one of his cigars. I think it might have been this one because this was what I was looking for when I was looking at the Jackson cigars. And uh, I remember that the cigar was really phenomenally great. And so I picked up another one. I saw that it retailed for just six dollars and twenty-five cents, and that's for a massive six by sixty, six-inch long, sixty ring gauge cigar. And uh, this is the Gordo, of course, Gordo Twenty. From the Tavern Residence collection, he has a collection there that comes in mild, which is in a white box, and also a full, but this, I would have thought was the full, it's full flavored, but this is the medium, which comes in a green box. Again, for $6.25, it's a fantastic cigar. It has an Ecuadoran Habano wrapper, which is just flawless, beautiful color. Don't know if you can tell with the, the stupid uh, iPhone camera, but Nicaraguan filler and Nicaraguan binder, which I'm just I'm just a Nicaraguan lover myself, and two sizes. The double robusto is a five by fifty-four, and this gordo is the six by sixty. So I, I assume all these cigars come in two sizes: medium-bodied, full-flavored, uh, good draw on it. I used a punch cutter today because, like I said, it was in the mood for a mixed filler cigar, which this is not. But I punched it a couple extra times there, and I've, I've enjoyed the draw. I cannot stand a cigar that doesn't draw well. I mean. It's a waste of money. If you can't smoke the darn thing, or if it's a lot of work, then you've wasted your money. A little bit spicy. Cocoa, man. Serious cocoa and coffee flavor with this. And um, pepper-wise, just a hint of pepper. Maybe even a little bit of chili. Chili pepper in there. Couldn't identify the chili for you, but has the handmade Cuban triple cap on there, which very classy, very classy cigar. Again, only six twenty-five at Ye Old Pipe Shop in the Hamilton Hill Shopping Center in Jackson. Uh, it, I've seen this cigar also in Nashville at a couple of places like um, Frugal McDougal's, uh, which is perfect to enjoy with a nice coffee. That uh, bark right there was <sighs> this is the emotional part of the video. That's uh, that's Doug, our chocolate lab rescue, who we love. Um, I won't bore you. I, I won't bore you. I won't. Um, I can make you a very heartbreaking, heart wrenching video about our Basset Hound Bocephus, which you've heard bark in my previous videos if you watched them that long. And um, we lost him this week. I won't go into details because I'll start crying. But he's a very special dog. And um, hey, I'll, 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 I'll leave it at that since I know you got your own problems. But we do have that awesome dog right there, Doug. Just a beautiful uh, chocolate lab goofball. Since we're all goofballs in this family, uh, it works out pretty good. So to find out more about the Tavern Residence and other cigars by Jackson Cigars, it says Jackson, but it has nothing to do with the Jackson, Tennessee. It's um, 
out of Nashville. J-A-X-S-I-N Cigar.com, Jackson Cigar Company. Uh, I've had about three of these now, and very consistent, very good flavor. And if you're in Tennessee, help out your uh, help out your home skillet from Nash Vegas. He'd love. Very nice guy, good looking too. Um, JacksonCigar.com. Keep an eye on Tennessee Cigar and Brewfest website, CigarandBrewfest.com. Jackson Cigar, I, I, I believe, will be there again this year, along with uh, uh, more cigars than ever before. When we started the Tennessee Cigar and Brewfest in 2009, there was um, there never been anything like it in West Tennessee, and our company was a radio company, which, you know, I'm on the radio. I'm, I'm not an uh, event coordinator. I don't know anything about putting on events, and none of us did, mostly, for the most part. But we pulled it off, and uh, now, coming up on our seventh year, yeah, this will this will be our seventh year of doing this. And, wait, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, this will be our seventh year, and in that time, it's been completely trial and error since day one, and we've gotten pretty darn good at it at this point. So if you've come in years past and maybe not totally enjoyed your experience, or if you've been waiting to come to the Tennessee Cigar and Brewfest, we are on our feet this year. Uh, we were changing a lot of things and flipping a lot of scripts that we've been waiting to flip. So it's ex going to be an exciting year coming up October 24th, 2015 at the Jackson Fairgrounds. Keep an eye on CigarAndBrewFest.com. Again, come by, pick up a Jackson cigar if you don't get to ye old pipe shop between now and the end of October. They're actually calming down a little bit, but man, they're crazy loud. These are the loudest dang cicadas. They are good for catching fish. That's all about all they're good for. Now, let's, uh, let's get back to the cigar. Just about a, just about a, maybe a fifteenth percent into the cigar right now, and again, phenomenal draw. Great silky smoke. It's a meaty cigar. It's it's nothing offensive in it whatsoever. Very smooth yet full flavored. I shouldn't smoke this again this fast, but here I go because I want to tell you some more about it. Yeah. Like a, like the meatloaf of cigars. It just feels like a nice beefy cigar, but not in a punch you in the face kind of way. This would go great. This would go great with a craft beer, which I'm not having just yet. I'm enjoying it with coffee, and it's really great with that as well. Have you ever had a cigar and cocoa together? That works. You know what won't work? Orange juice. Really fantastic. Take another look at that label right there, Jackson Cigar. Just $6.25. That's for the big one. That's for the big Gordo. So get you some, and I'll talk to you soon. This is Buzz. That doesn't work.